Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on September 14th, 2021 at approximately 3.55 a.m. PST. Okay, you made, a, you made a choice. You decided to go in a certain direction. You've got a purpose in mind. Now it's time to set a plan up to be able to accomplish this. And I will tell you, the plan itself requires, or rather is best set up, with a list. Okay, so when we're talking about a plan, we are talking about having a step-by-step -step procedure that you can check off one step at a time to attain your final goal. When I was a child, there was an old saying that said that went, if you take care of the pennies, the dollars will take care of themselves. The same applies to any project. Okay, if you take care of the little things, the big, th big things will be taken care of. Hence why I tell you, take the time to put, you know, to put a list together with, with tasks that take 15 minutes to half an hour in length. That way you can get them racked off and get them completed properly. Now, where it comes to, where it comes to organizing things, and here's, here's a nice little part. Because I like I've built myself as a spiritual guide. Now what this means to me is if I'm going to give you a tool, I'm going to be using it. Now, this idea of setting a plan in motion kind of is detailed in this little book here. Okay. Now, every book I've got can be ordered directly through me. Okay, it was just an easier way of repeating things to get them into into print especially where it came to the self-help projects. Okay. You'll find a list of different books that I've already put in publication. They're all self they're all self-published. So with that in mind, okay, all of that information is below. Now like I've said and I did get a request to give you an idea. I got a request earlier yesterday, I believe to literally take a look at some of the old some of the old role playing games that I dealt with in the past. And with that in mind, just to let you know, I will get to it. It is on my list. Unfortunately, because I have to stay on a on a definitive project program in my eyes, it's going to be a couple of weeks before I get to that one, but it is on my list to get done. And like I said, if I can get thirty or forty things set up so I don't have to worry about what I'm doing for the next month. It makes it so much easier for me. Okay. Now, a plan really boils down to this. If you if you take a look at, for instance, trying to straighten out trying to straighten out your living and straighten out your living room. Okay, think of it this way. If you're trying to straighten out your living room and you assume and you and you suspect starting from cleaning one end of it to the other, vacuuming doing all the dusting and what have you, if you figure it's a two-hour job. Okay, what this means is you're going to have to find two hours back-to-back -to, -back to get it completed. What tends to happen is people get pulled away before they get done. Net result, they come back, they look at it and go, I didn't finish the job. So you're going, well, I didn't get anything done today. Whereas if you had broken it up, I'm going to clear the coffee table, I'm going to clear the furniture off, I'm going to take the shelves one step at a time. If you do that at 15 minutes to half an hour, let's say you get called away half an hour into the job, into clearing the living room. You've checked off one or two items already, okay, and you get called away to do whatever. Now, what that boils down to is when you come back, you now only have an hour and a half to, worth of work to finish, the, to finish the living room. But you feel like you've already got something done. Okay, and that's the key to a plan that works. By breaking it down one step at a time. Okay, this is why I've got my office running properly. Okay, well, not entirely, it's not completely sorted out, but then it's an active office. So, quite often in the morning, and I will get to the point where I actually get everything set aside when I get done. Like I said, at the end of the day, you should have all of your, all of your work on your office put away wherever it belongs. Okay. 
in order to get up in the morning when you come in. Like when I came in this morning, my writing section was completely clear. It isn't now, but I've been up for an hour. So with that in mind, you get things organized. The more organized you are, the more likely your plan is to succeed. I love the way it was put to me ages ago. People don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. Okay, now these are tools I personally use. Okay, and like I've mentioned many times before, if you're, if you're aiming at doing something or when, when you're aiming at doing something, talk to somebody that has done it successfully. Okay, in my case, it's worked like an absolute charm. Now, I'm not perfect. I do not stay completely on track. Quite frankly, I used to be a professional procrastinator and a pack rat. Okay, but I am getting things moved. So, that is something I that I work at. But you get a plan in motion one step at a time and you take care of it. By doing that, you'll get things running properly. Now, I didn't get a chance to look for the one thing I will be looking for again today, but. The important factor here is put a plan together. Now, you may not make it all in one track. Be careful you don't get too many things on a list. I've done that before. You get this great big long list of things you'd like to get accomplished. Okay. Now, it's different between when you're looking at a long list of things you desire to get accomplished where it comes to planning. Okay. Than it is when it comes to setting up a schedule. See, now, this list here is simply the different, the different topics that I'm going to be dealing with, okay, over the next couple of weeks. Now, the thing is this. In a plan, if you get the, if you get the list, like, for instance, I've got to clear out this entire office. I could take the time and put it one step at a time and write down everything. I tried that once. It didn't work well. Okay, because the list itself gets overwhelming. So, from that standpoint, keep it down to three items. Right now, on my active list for today, what do I got? One, two, well, I've actually, see, I run a little heavier. But I'm, and what I recommend is three. Now, myself, I've got, I've actually got eight items on. Now, two of them will be racked off very quickly here. I've already racked off one of them. Okay, before I even started here. Got my breakfast out of the way. Okay, now that's with the list of things I'm doing today. Now, this one is my list of different, of different topics I'm going to be talking about. Now, yes, it's written on a scrap of paper. I don't have feel that it's got to be done in perfect, in perfect order. Okay. But I do want to make absolutely certain that I stay on, on top of, on top of that side of it. Maybe I should think. What do you think? This is, by the way, a live, a live recording. Meaning, I go back through it. Okay. I do not go back through it. I go, when I get done, I double check, make sure I got the date right. And then go straight to posting. Okay. Now, this said, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. Okay, because there's a lot of information I'm going to be dealing with over the next little while. I keep getting requests like this, and I'm going to have no problem with your help getting a list of topics to deal with. And I will let you know when they're coming up. Okay, or for that matter, you can drop me a note, you can drop me a line in the list of questions in the comment section below. And I will do my best answer. Or if you've got a question in any topic that you don't desire the public to know about, there's a lot of ways of getting a hold of me. So just look at the list below this video and pick one of them. I do my best to respond to them. Like the gentleman that asked me about the, I think it was a gentleman, it might have been a woman for that matter, the individual that asked me about the old gaming gaming programs and gaming systems I used to play. Okay, and I will go through that. But like I said, it's going to be a couple of weeks down the road, but it is on my list. And that is the way I'm operating from here on out. 
I will simply put things next on my list. Now that list for the for the projects for the videos, okay, will do two things. One, it helps me stay organized. And realistically, that ultimately is the idea. It's the same idea for you. You put a list together, it will help you stay organized. Okay, and by doing that, you can get on track and get your own life running the way you desire it to. But it is entirely up to you to make that happen. Okay, wonder if that'll work. I'm just looking here. I may not have a have a um, a frame that I can work with, but if I grab a paper clip and stretch it out, then I can or grab a hook and stretch it out properly. I can put it hanging from the shelf right here and be able to see it. I'm referring to my financial thing here. Okay, that says I am I have legally attained a minimum of two thousand dollars by September thirtieth, twenty twenty one, at one minute to midnight. Now that two thousand dollars, like I said, it boils down to that's what I require to run my house and my office. Okay, to run my house and business. Now the thing is, my office runs out of the home. Okay, that's where I do most of my work. Okay, and that's just the way it's going to go. Because, frankly, I'm getting, I've gotten to the point, I do not like that word. I have reached the point where I really do desire to just keep some distance between me, physically between me and most people. And that'll work great. Oh, by the way, and I'll get back to the plan in a second. Um... The car I had, okay, I've still got it, but it goes away today. The old van, it's having trouble, so it's leaving today. But I've got another car coming into, into my possession this afternoon. So, frankly, that works out well for me. Again, it's part of this program of getting rid of the past and moving forward into the, into the future. But I'm dealing with everything in the here and now. Right here, right now. It's the only time in existence that any entity can do anything. You can talk about what you wish you had done. You know, the old saying, if I knew then what I know now. You know, if that were the case, we'd all be in a lot better shape, I suspect. Some of us would actually be in a lot worse shape. But the, the reality is when you get a plan together one step at a time, it's kind of like if you're striving to read a book. Okay. If you're striving to read a book, you can do it, you know, you, can, you cannot read it all in one shot. You can certainly jump to the end and read the last page and see what the final outcome was. Okay, but you cannot read the whole book at once. However, what you can do and what I did, and this is why I never developed a leg in, in reading, is I would pick up a book and I'd pull the information out of it without actually going through it. But if you're actually reading a book, you have to read it one page at a time. Speaking of which, I'm going to do something here. I have these two books here. Okay. There's one on video that I've got to get started reading. Or I've got to get back to. Okay. These are the books I was, I was talking about. Now, this is simply the Bible. And you'll notice I've got a bookmark in it. Okay. So that one is one of the books I'm reading. And this, as you can see, I've gone most of the way through it. Actually, I think I'm just hitting the halfway mark. Okay, this is the book that I'm reading, the I Want to Know About. Now, some of you may recognize this. I've actually read the entire encyclopedia. I'm just reading the last book of it, the last book of it, which is the index in the parent's guide. Okay. So what I'm doing here is just marking down to make sure that I that I actually get to those. Okay. And this is what I was referring to. I keep that list handy so that I can actually stay ahead of it when something comes up. And again, it boils down to planning what you're aiming for. What is it that you desire to acquire? Now it all you know people talk about change being a frightening thing, change being a painful or a scary thing or difficult. 
Well, I'll tell you, I didn't suffer any pain there, and I just simply added three things to my list. I changed what was on my paper to being from nothing on it to another three things. There was no pain involved. There was no, you know, fear involved. It just gave me something more to work on, like I needed that. But you put a plan together and you stay on track. If you get off track a little, that's why you write it down. To make sure you can come, you know, that you can come back to it. See, the funny thing is, with reading, the reason we use bookmarks is to make sure we stay on track. Because there ain't no way, in most cases, I'm going to remember the number of different pages. I tried that before it backfired. Okay. So, what I'm doing now is I'm picking books and I'm get, I'm going through them. I've got, I think I said 62 or something like that. Where did I put that? Okay. My plan is a very simple one, really. I go down here. I can take a look at that and see what I've got. Books. There we go. I have, yeah, I've read 62 different books. Okay. I'm aiming over the course of the next number of years. I'm aiming to get another 40 written or read. Probably get 40 written at the same time. But the trick is that's a plan. That's a goal. So you do it one step at a time. Now, I won't be adding more books to my reading list, at least I, because that may change over time. So I just add them when I start reading them. Okay, but I've got 62 racked off right now. Okay, which means I've got 38 more to read over the next number of years. Now, at that rate, because the, the books range in size from very small to very large. Thankfully... I'm not striving to read 32, uh, read another 38 books this size. Okay, I'm just not. Okay, for that matter, most of them won't be that size, but some will be. We'll find out. But you put a plan together, get it broken down. And yes, I'm repeating myself, and the reason for that is because I find I have to repeat myself to myself more often than not. Okay. And I know when I was growing up, my parents used to say they had to repeat the same sentence twice to ensure I heard it because my brain was working at such a bizarre speed. Basically, the way it works is and the way it was explained to me is this. The, the average human brain gets what they call a busy signal, which is where all the neurons in the brain fire at once, about once every three seconds. Uh, okay. And, you know, fortunately, usually that falls, fortunately, that falls into, into a spot, like an inconsequential word, like the, or of, or a, or it falls into part of a, like a syllable in the middle of a word that's easy to wrap around, or into a space. According to the doctors, when I was a kid, my brain was working so fast, I was getting three busy signals a second. Net result, they diagnosed me mentally retarded. Well, I got the last laugh. I graduated on the honor roll. Okay, this is one of the reasons why I do as much as what I do. Okay, why I keep saying things going as much as I do. Now, the neat part about it for me is this. Having finally gotten a plan together on the, num on the different, different topics I'm, go I'm going to be dealing with, I find it much easier to get up in the morning and go, okay, this is what I'm heading for. I've got a list of things here that I have to get dealt with, which is great. Okay, gets things out of the way very nicely. Okay, one step at a time. Doesn't matter what the project, doesn't matter what the plan. Okay, now remember, if you're looking at opening, if you're looking at writing, get an idea of what the concept is. Okay. Now, for me, The Birth of the Wolf Pack wrote itself. I started it off in a bar. Okay, it's post-apocalyptic. It was a convenient place to start it. Okay. So, I started it off in a bar, and it literally wrote itself. I didn't even know where it was going until the last, uh, last few chapters. I knew where it said it was going, but I never got there. This is the thing. If you are a gamer... You will find that most of the games you get a plan in, say, in a set in motion, 
and you're heading down that road and all of a sudden you go that direction well my life does that regularly okay so the important factor from your standpoint is when i wrote the when i wrote the birth of the wolf pack i didn't have a plot line i didn't have a storyline i started it right smack in the bar and let it write itself i knew what the basic characters were and that was it now i'm paying a little more attention to it but that's my style of writing many people what they do is they write an outline then they start filling it in so they start with the whole story and then they go backwards and they put it all back together you know, fill in, embellish stuff, add to it, you know, make it a little bit more exciting, and just fill and fill it out. So they start off with a with a complete story that is three or four pages long, right? And then they start expanding it. Net result, you end up with a novel. Now this is this is simply another way of writing. My way is not the best way. It is simply the the way I write. Where it comes to a business, okay, my recommendation is get a concept in mind of what you definitively desire to do as a primary thing. Okay, get that on paper. Pick a business name. Now, some people will say, well, you don't require a business name to run a business, which is true. You don't. You can run a sole proprietorship strictly on without a business name. You can run the whole thing out of your own pocket. There is no question there. Okay, the reason I recommend a business name is because it feels more professional. Now, this is to me. This is why I say recommend. It's not what you have to do. There are a lot of people that run businesses different ways. But from my standpoint, pick a business name that says what you do. Okay, now I called mine Inner Voice Enterprises. Okay, and the reason for that was because it all comes from in here. It does. It is not, I don't research what I do. I simply live it. It's like I've told people, my life is more science fiction than it is reality. Although in my case, reality and science fiction are pretty tightly bound. Okay, so you get a business name. It looks more professional. Sounds much more professional when dealing with the public. Okay, then you start laying out your projections. Okay, now I do recommend, because I'm not going to go through business planning for you. Okay, I do recommend you find a, find a company or a school or what have you that actually teaches you how to track your business. How to track finances. Okay, now I can certainly explain how I do it. But that doesn't necessarily make it the best way. Okay. And it certainly means it does not fall under the, uh, do not fall under the assumption that I know all the laws that are out there. I don't. Okay. I play things by ear as best I can. I stick to the, le into the legality of it. Absolutely. Okay. But the one thing I refuse to do to people is I refuse to lie to you and make you feel better. Okay. So, of course, with that in mind, get a plan together, get an idea. First of all, like I said, you get an idea of what the business is. Get an idea as to how, how big you desire said business to go. Okay, I took one, one young lass. She had a business. It was going great, but she desired to expand. Well, by the time we got finished, okay, and she had to do the work. But I worked with her for a couple of years, and she went from a small home-based business to an intercontinental business. Okay, now her business was training. Okay, and she built her clientele to the point that she had to travel around the world. Oh, terrible thing for her. She loved traveling. For me, traveling around the world, I will do what I have to when it, when it comes to when things open up. Given that I'm in a situation where I can do it, I will go and talk it at functions. You know, I have spoken at a few UFO functions, okay, alien abduction, on alien abductions, on different races and technologies. And I will absolutely try and go out if, if things are set up and somebody desires me to come in and talk to them about self help or self motivation. 
Absolutely, I will do my best to arrange to be there. Okay, and if you're interested in that sort of thing, look at the list below. There's a way to get a hold of me. It's not like I hide from the world. Okay, I just don't go out in it much. There's a lot of reasons for that, but... The biggest thing for me is that funny little sign over there, and apparently it's covered partially. Oh, that's because those are envelopes in that bag. But the sign behind, behind it says, I am worth it. And that is the backbone of getting things to work. Is you got to be in, it is best if you're doing them for you. Okay, so get the plan together. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter how long you've left something sitting on hold. Okay, doesn't matter why you put a, a project on hold. If you put it on hold because somebody else said you weren't good enough, well, frankly, that just means you weren't good enough in their opinion. Now, yes, people that know the industry are going to have better insight into it than I do. Okay, but I will tell you this. The only difference between you as a singer now and Cher as a singer Okay, or name any one of the other superstars that you know of. Okay, the only difference is they're already there. They went through their trials and tribulations. They went through their, their soapbox singing or their nightclub singing. They went through those stages. Very few get handed the golden ticket and all of a sudden end up at the top of the, of the totem pole, you know, like, like Kelly Clarkson did. Very few get handed that. Okay, but still, you got to remember, even until that point, she went through her trials, she went through her, her problems getting up and running. She just never gave up on her dream. Same as when I wrote, when I wrote The Birth of the Wolf Pack. Okay, I wrote that. It took a long time to get it out. In all fairness, 43 years. I uh, know it came out in 219, so... In 219, that would have been, what, 37 years? I don't know, something like that. It took me a long time. I started when I was 15. It came out in 2019, so I'd have been 55. Because I'm 58 now. So much for that. It would have been 57. Anyway, let's scrap the math, because obviously that ain't going to work today. But like I said, this is a live video. Sorry, you get the hiccups. Get your plan together. Get started on. If it's been a project sitting still for a while, dig it back out and get back on it. Okay. Now, I do keep these down to the half hour mark. So again, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And remember to hit the alert button so when the next video comes out tomorrow, the, the computer will tell you it's out. Okay. Until then... Take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.